If you've hit the problem in Windows where you need to format a card or USB stick which is bigger than 32 gig in size to the FAT32 standard, but Windows won't let you, then this video will show you how to fix that problem. As an example, I'm using a 128 gig micro SD card, which you can see here showing up as my iDrive. If we look at the properties for this card, it shows that it's currently formatted as XFAT. But the software I'm going to be using this card with needs it to be formatted as FAT32. If I choose the option to format the card within Windows, then we only get two options. It will only let me format the card as either XFAT or NTFS. FAT32 isn't even shown as an option. And that is because Windows won't let you format a device bigger than 32 gig as FAT32 even though it's capable of handling sizes much bigger than that. The solution is to use a third-party utility to do the format, and the one that I use and recommend is called Rufus. You can find it at this site, rufus.ie forward slash en forward slash, and I'll leave a link to the site in the description below. When you're on the site, scroll down the page and you'll find the download links. Click one of the download links and save it in a folder somewhere safe, as this isn't an installer file. This exe file is what you'll run each time you want to run Rufus. I've stuck mine in a folder called Tools on my C drive. To make it easier to find, you can right click on the file and either choose to add a shortcut to it on your taskbar, or do what I did and create a shortcut to it in your start menu. So, to run it, I've just clicked on the newly created Start Menu tile. When Rufus starts up, the first option is to select the drive you want to format. The Boot selection gives you options for working with disk images, but as I just want to format this card, I'm going to select Non-Bootable. Under Format options, you can choose the label text that will show when the card is inserted to a drive. This step is optional but I'm going to change mine to something appropriate for what I'll be using the card for. The file system drop-down has a range of options, and obviously the one we want is FAT32, so make sure you select that. Uncheck the box that says Create Extended Label and Icon Files. It creates extra files in the root of the card that we, we just don't need. The only thing left to do now is to click on the Start button. A brief warning pops up asking you if you're sure. Click OK and let Rufus do its thing. Now that it's finished, if we go back to File Manager, you'll see the card is now showing with the label I created, so it's easy to identify. And if I show the properties for it, you can see that it now shows as having a FAT32 file system. And that's how you can format a memory card, USB stick, or drive larger than 32 gig to FAT32. And if you found this useful, then a like on this video would be very much appreciated.